Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Close Combat 2, A Bridge Too Far, a classic real-time tactical war game from the late 1990s. In today's video, we're going to be returning to this series, I think it's episode number 5 of my series, I probably should double check, but we are going to be fighting the Battle of Vigil North, so this is in the Eindhoven section of the map, the 101st Airborns, and we've already taken the bridge at Vigil, we've already taken the town, if you will, to the northeast of Vigil, and now we are moving even further north up, up the road um, to Vigil North, which is the furthest north objective of the 101st Airborne in this game. I think the next battle after this will be the battle for the Sun Bridge, which we will also likely play in today's video, uh, which is one of the most important battles because it's the first major bridge that 30 Core has to cross in order to get to you. We have added a 60 millimeter mortar and a 30 caliber machine gun to this formation. We also have a sniper uh, to go along with a fairly heavy infantry complement of three bar sections and two full rifle sections and an ad hoc ri rifle section. So we have a pretty healthy force here. These troops have fought multiple battles already today. We've been using the short ceasefire, the short turnaround to try and get these men into combat as quickly as possible so we can basically shock and awe the Germans in this sector and it's worked because in the initial battles we've killed quite a few Germans and as a result of the short ceasefires when we set it to one hour we fight the next battle one hour later and that's generally before more than a handful of reinforcements can reach either side but in our case it's been okay because our troops have largely been uh, kept in, in intact. I think we have one bar section that's at about half strength, and we have um, a couple of other units that have lost one or two men. But generally speaking, we're a very strong force here. So my hope in this mission is not to take the whole map. My hope is that we engage the enemy quickly, and we wipe enough of their troops out quickly enough that we break their morale and take the map. So basically, if you kill the enemy quickly enough, if you kill a large number of enemy troops, like right away, and the enemy doesn't have a ton of troops, which presumably the Germans don't here, you can basically cause their morale to break and then they will withdraw and you will you will take the map much easier, in my opinion. So the strategy that we're gonna have here is we've got a couple of troops in this two-story building here to the west of this furthest east objective. Those troops are gonna provide cover fire. Meanwhile, the troops behind these two three-story buildings on the north and south end of this map here, the northernmost on, on the screen right now, are going to rush into the neighboring three-story buildings. Once we take those three-story buildings, then we'll push to the next size of build, the next set of buildings here, uh, and into this warehouse. So we can begin pushing into the town of Vigil, or it's not really a town of Vigil North, the, the part of Vigil that is on this map. So you can see here we have troops moving already up in these three-story buildings. We've detected there's enemy reserves here in this three-story building opposite of this two-story warehouse um, straight ahead. And then potentially also some German troops in sort of this, this single-story long, uh, almost like barn looking like structure in terms of its, its setup. So we have successfully taken the first two three-story buildings. We did take one casualty, it looks like, in our AD ad hoc in the south, so our uh, sort of ad hoc rifle section. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bar unit here in the northernmost three-story building, uh, and I think we're gonna see if we can drop some smoke uh, on, the, on the reserve unit for the Germans and then charge in there. It does look like they also have some reserves a little bit further west in some of these homes, um, but that's not my focus. Whoa, wait a minute. The Germans coming out of this building? Well, that's going to make my job a lot easier. Looks like the Germans are trying to assault our position uh, in, in the center of our line here, and at least two of their troops in the reserve unit exited that three-story building and were just lit up in the open here. So, actually, that entire reserve section is now destroyed. Three KA-1 incapacitated, and so we'll move our troops down, uh, move them down now uh, to, to finish off if there's anybody left in there or just to take the building. That'll hopefully let me flank this MG-42 in this long-looking building here uh, and, uh, and take it out. We're hearing some sound effects. It looks like there are some grenades being tossed between buildings. The one thing I don't get is like the building numbers where it's a three or a two. I'm assuming that's the number of stories that building is tall, but you don't you don't have the ability to like fight at different floors. It's always treated as one floor. So I suppose it could be like a, the sturdiness of the building or how much cover it provides. But I do think it is supposed to be a height. 
that's one of the things I like about like the combat mission series is it, it very much does have um, multiple level buildings. Uh, looks like we took another casualty. One in our bar and one on one in one of our rifle sections here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if we can drop some smoke on this building to obscure the MG42's view. And then we're going to charge on in with our bar section here, which has not lost anybody yet. So the bar section actually has smoke as well. And they're in range, so they can drop their own smoke on the building. Go ahead and have uh, other units here. I think it might be out of range. It looks uh, just out of range. So we'll have to, we'll have to keep it, I think, under, under 35 meters. But the bar section smoke hit the building dead on. I'm hoping that's obscuring. And then the other unit from the, the center of our line also dropped some smoke in here. So I think we're going to go ahead and try and move fast into this building, which is the same as an assault, and knock out this enemy MG42. Come also, on. one mortar round did land directly on top of the house. Oh, that was fast. Battle ended because the Germans were routed from the map. The Allies gained control. The Germans lost eight men. We lost three. So we lost one man in the, one man in this bar section incapacitated. Not necessarily killed, but he's got the two hearts. One KIA in this AB rifle section, as well as a walking wounded. One KIA in the ad hoc rifle section, and that's it. So really two KIA, one incapacitated. The Germans, meanwhile, this MG42 section was wiped out. The one we were trying to smoke out, apparently, must have been the, all the fire from the buildings around it. Um, they had two other, three other soldier sections. One of them badly bled, only had two men in it, but two reserve sections completely unharmed. So that's like 10 healthy troops there that didn't even get hurt at all. But then this other reserve section, 3KA, one incapacitated, and then the Panzer Shrek unit, one of two incapacitated. So their morale broke, basically. They still had 10-plus healthy soldiers um, who I don't even think had really taken any damage. With that being said, we are going to move forward to the next battle in this uh, campaign. It is the battle for Son Bridge here in the southernmost combat box uh, around Son. Uh, this is one of the most important bridges. It is the first major bridge that the 30 Corps of the British Army, or, or I guess the Commonwealth forces, uh, are going to have to deal with. And it is, it's a tough one, because the Germans can blow the bridge pretty damn quickly, and uh, it's very difficult to take. And it's also very important, because if we don't take it, I think it's like a full 24 hours or overnight, it basically says there's going to be a major delay. Um, so I'm assuming that's an overnight thing, which I don't know if that, I'm assuming that's not day one to day two. It's probably day two, like all of day two, you're out of commission. And then you go day three. I'm not sure, but it's the first major bridge and the first obstacle to 30 core getting North. If we hold the bridge, given we also have the bridge at Vigal, I think the whole 101st will be relieved or, or, you know, securing that portion of the roadway by day two. And I think 30 core might even get to Nijmegen late day two but if we don't take the bridge then nijmegen and the 82nd airborne definitely not going to have any support on day two potentially not any support on day three and what does that mean for arnhem even further north uh, with the british trying to hold out especially since we might have lost the uh, oosthaven drop zone it's just, if we don't if we don't win this battle it's going to shape up very similar to the historical uh battle of uh of Market Garden or, or Arnhem. Uh, you can see here this force is a little bit in worse shape. We've got one bar section that suffered 50% casualties, another that suffered uh, two casualties, and a rifle section suffering two casualties. So really, uh, we basically have a half-strength bar section and then two depleted rifle and bar sections, and then one recon section. That is not a lot of infantry striking power. We do have a, a good amount of mortars, we have a, a 60 millimeter and 81 millimeter mortar, so there's a fair amount of firepower there, but not a lot of striking power in terms of like the ability to assault buildings and overrun enemy positions. I really would like a 30 cal machine gun, which I could afford, but I wouldn't have enough infantry to really be successful, so we'll just go with a rifle section. And with that rifle section selected, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so we've got the map for the Battle of... Son, or at least the Battle of Son Bridge. Let's zoom out here. So we've got one objective to the west of the river. We've got the bridge itself. And then we've got four objectives all along the river line. So quite a few objectives here. 
I don't think we have a lot of time, although it doesn't tell me how much time we have before the bridge will blow. Um, we've got a recon section here, rifle section. So how do we want to deploy? Well, I'm going to put the mortars behind this house. Both mortars, I think. We actually have two objectives in our control. We've got the manor house over here, and then we've got the road to Son over here. I don't have a 30 cal. Hmm. All right, I do want to make a play for the gun pit. There's an 88 millimeter gun here, so we're going to go ahead and put one of our rifle sections up here in the north, and they're just going <laughs> to... They're just going to go ahead and move to the gun. We're also going to go ahead and just instantly drop some 60 millimeter mortar shells on the gun because we know they're there. We also know there's an 88 on the other side of the river here, or at least there's a gun pit, and I'm assuming there's an 88 there. So we'll drop mortar rounds in here, pre-planned artillery. Um, this is the wounded bar section. If we put them here, what's their line of sight look like? Can shoot toward this house, down the road. Pretty far down the road. They can almost cover the bridge. To the south, they can cover this area. I'm tempted to put them there, but what if we put them here? If we put them over here, they can still cover the south. Cover this building. Also the garrison at closer range. They can't go as far down the road, though. So let's actually keep them in this house. Make sure that line of fire is the same. Okay, yeah. All right, set them to defend. Then we'll go ahead and set, got another bar section around here somewhere, right? Yeah. Set this bar section up in this, this level two building. We're going to move this recon section fast to this garrison. Let's go ahead and have this rifle section defend. And we're going to move these guys fast to this garrison HQ also, I think. So we're going to stack up a recon and a bar unit on the garrison HQ. We'll have one rifle section back here providing cover fire, one bar section providing cover fire, and the two mortars in the general vicinity. And then we'll have a lone rifle section making a play for the, the guns up here. And I think that's it. Let's go ahead. Are you kidding? We only have five seconds till the bridge gets blown? What kind of horse shit is that? I mean, there's no way for me to take the bridge in five seconds. It hasn't blown quite yet, but I'm sure it will. Looks like one of our initial mortar rounds hit the gun crew. We've incapacitated one and killed another. Incoming! Where are we getting hit? All right, there is a recon section in this garrison HQ, and our, our own recon section is getting lit up. I'm flanking them with this bar section here. Tell me we're going to take it. How have we not closed with them in hand-to-hand -hand combat? All right, so we destroyed this. No, that's my recon section. Fuck. Can't go there. 
Well, my bar section is getting lit up. There's a Panzer Strike here. There's another recon section moving in on us. Oh no. God damn it, they blew the bridge. Can we just knock whatever's left of this recon section out? Okay, so we did destroy the recon section, so the garrison HQ is ours. Get inside, you fuckers. I guess there's no rush now. They blew the bridge. Gun in the north is getting pounded by 60s. Looks like we killed one, wounded one. You know what? Fuck. Just charge the gun pit. Take that objective on the northern side of the river. Alphaclar here. The Panzer Strike here. There's another German unit around here somewhere. And our rifle section took another hit. Where are these casualties? Oh, these guys are the ones probably in the north. Making a play for the gun pit. Should probably stop the 60 millimeter mortar firing. All right, so it looks like we got all, but no, we destroyed the gun crew. There's one guy who's crazy. Three killed, three wounded. Oh, there's a Flamenwerfer up here? Oh, shit. They're flanking us with Flamenwerfer. Flamethrowers. Go ahead and drop 60s on them. I gotta imagine a flamethrower is vulnerable, right? Anyway, we took the gun pit in the north. I'm into this rifle section. There's just one. Right. Get back in the woods. Trying to flank, they've taken the mayor's house. I don't want to just charge in and try and deal my with. Uh... All right, let's hit these guys. How's the gun crew across the river doing? Two panicked, one incapacitated, one killed. So only three men left on the gun. Doesn't matter. We're not going to cross the river anyway. This bar section, which took the uh, houses, all toasty. Two walking wounded. Drop mortars. 60 pointed north at the manor house. Flamenwerfer is inside. Do I dare charge at the Flamenwerfer inside a building? And these guys are not moving. This is one of our guys is in a melee. With this guy down here, I guess, but I don't know how. Oh shit! Do you see that? We dropped a mortar right on one of the guys and he blew up with flames. Looks like we shot the other guy. Eat shit, flamethrowers. All right, hold your fire, 60. That was awesome. All right, where are the other remaining German troops? Is it just the... Oh, there's something down here. There's an infantry section in this warehouse down here. We've got the recon section in the open, pinning down what's left of this bar section. Got to be low on ammo here. 81 has seven rounds left. We pasted the German 88s. I guess that's the one good thing that happened in this battle is we knocked out one German 88 and we crippled another, I'm hoping. So our mortars were useful there. This Elf Klar section is just not dying. Dropping mortars all around him, too. I guess when you're taking cover. Like that landed right on top of the dude. The rifle section's pulling back. I'm going to go ahead and move these guys through this wood. We'll have to go back and retake the manor house too. Let's do that with this bar section. They're not shooting at anyone. 
I don't think there's any Germans in here. I think we killed the flamethrowers. You'd think that would be a big chunk of the enemy force. Flamethrowers are expensive, but I don't know how the AI forces get applied. Yeah, we're pretty much out of ammo trying to knock out these elf clones. These guys are probably pinned down, so I'm hoping. Well, there's the guys are shooting. Team redeploy. I'm gonna try and move one of our infantry sections here. This bar section took this objective without loss. Try and move into town with this infantry in the bar to the north. I just assume these Germans with all those mortar dropped in this very small space would be in trouble, like they'd be suppressed. <laughs> Let's try and get these guys inside. We do. Oh, we just took a loss. And my unit's getting wiped out. Like, why is no one? Is this smoke worthless? They'd be rifle wiped out. Good to know. All we did was two walking wounded on the enemy. We're moving into the building to the north of the town. Sounds like there's an MG42 somewhere. Alright, so we're going to have a big delay here, but my hope is that we can compel the Germans to withdraw from the map. assault this building hopefully from the rear there's a panzer shrek in here as well oh god and they're already shooting at you panzer shrek and off clarin just just stay there oh Make a move for the toll house, although that 88 on the other side of the river, if it's still in action, may give you some headaches. And that bar's gone. Taking the toll house. Move across, move the south to take the northern approaches. Thank God, th I think 30 core will be here for the next phase. That's the one benefit of these guys being in the first, the first hex here is these guys getting slaughtered should hopefully mean less. I don't know if they have enough men left to still operate this gun. Let's make a warehouse. Right, so we have a small force in the garrison HQ. We've taken the northern gun pit. We're trying to move south to the warehouses here. Not sure what the Germans may or may not have. This 88 did not shoot at me, interestingly enough, although he is rotating. Some grenades are getting tossed. Sniper. Oh no, infantry. Come on, guys. Assault these guys. Incoming! Fucking A. Sniper. Just give me a ceasefire. Battle ended because both sides disagreed to a ceasefire. The bridge is blown. The allies must wait for 30 core to arrive and then repair it. It'll take 14 hours to repair. 
Because the bridge was blown, the Germans must retreat. So everybody I lost after the... That was a pointless fight because everybody I lost after the bridge was blown didn't matter. The Germans fought, but they have to withdraw. Okay. So the Germans lost 15 men. We lost 15 men. We take a look at the details here. First A, B section, one casualty, two wounded, one, one okay. A, B bar, second wiped out. A, B rifle, third wiped out. AB rifle here crippled. AB recon wiped out. Mortar teams are okay. Well, thank God we should get a lot of reinforcements when the uh, 30 course shows up to this section. God damn it. Man, that sucks. Well, that's going to be a 14 hour delay at the Son Bridge. Um, I don't know if that like counts overnight if, or if it means they won't. Well, they should already be there. They just won't cross. In any event, as I said, off camera, we did win the battle for the Arnhem Bridge. So our next battle is actually going to be the Arnhem Suburbs. So push hard to take the objectives uh, and make your way down the road to Arnhem. Do not let the men get bogged down in street fighting when the road to Arnhem is still open. If you're forced off this map, this operation will be canceled and your troops will be sent to help defend Oosterbeek. So we have to hold this map or we will not get a chance to go to the Arnhem Bridge. It is 1,700 hours, so the first day is almost done. And the troops that we have going here are what was left over from the Arnhem Bridge, uh, the rail bridge, which is two, a, a basically a 60% rifle section, an 80% rifle section, another 80%, so basically one... Fairly bloodied rifle section, one minor losses, and then a light AB Hawk or AD Hawk. We also have a three inch mortar. We do have six points we can assign to strengthen the operation. Not enough for any support gear, but we can either go with a half team of Lee Enfield or a recon team of Thompson submachine guns. The recon teams really feel worthless. The Thompson could be nice in like close quarters fighting, but they don't do a very good job. I don't think, at the ranges we usually fight. Now, they might be useful on a map like this where there's buildings. We have four rifle sections, so what are two more half teams? I don't know. I just don't get why they're so expensive. Like, they don't seem terribly useful. Maybe they're better at sneaking, I don't know. Anyway, we've got four of them. we got to use them. So we're going to go ahead with one of these. Three-inch mortar. I mean, let's, let's fight this battle. It'll be a longer video today. But let's see if we can turn things around here. So, Arnhem Suburbs. There's a prison here. Public bath. St. Elizabeth, an emergency room. And then the riverfront. We have, we could flank to the north through these trees and make a move for the riverfront, potentially. And then just move south on the objectives. Or we could try moving through the town itself with a southern approach, swinging north only after we secure the town. My right flank will be secure by the river, but my left will be open if I move through the woods. My right will be open, left secure by the edge of the map if I move through the town. I can get into cover almost immediately in the north as opposed to crossing a street. I'm going to do that. Let's stack our troops in the north. Let's under recon first. Three inch mortar. I mean, the problem is in the north here, there's really not much cover. Not really a ton in the south either.
basically going to be hunkering behind trees. This one level three section, let's leave them in a defensive position down here. Let's actually get them down here and try and get them into foxhole here. Maybe that'll be better cover. All right. No bridge here. Time is less important. I don't even know, like, we can't get pushed off the map, but if we just hold one objective, like, it might be fine. So I don't even know how important it is to make a lot of progress. I mean, it is the first day, so presumably you want to make a lot of progress because the German armor is going to start showing up real fast if you don't. Move completed. Begs the question of if there's even any German troops in the prison. Could be a nice free objective to get our toehold into the town. Move completed. Maybe they're defending that line of houses to the north of the downtown area. Okay. Still moving out there in the north. Oh shit. Take cover! Panzer Shrek. Light rifle section just Took some unnecessary Move casualties. Completed. We're under heavy fire. Move completed. Team lost. Yeah. All right. Well, that team got wiped out already. Okay. Um. I don't know that there's any point in dropping shells on the prison. Not a great start. Okay, we'll get the recon moving out ahead. I'd like to think the recon would have a better line of sight on like where the bad guys are, but I, I don't really get that sense. Move the mortars up. Get them a little bit closer just because I don't, Move in theory, completed. I think if they're they're in line of sight with your troops, I think they're not firing blind. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I know if they're like way in the rear and they're shooting, they shoot blind. German troops down. SS reserve. And that Kong. Drop mortars. SS Reserve. Everybody open fire. Pin these guys down, then we can hit them with mortars. Short. They're crawling away. Lead them. Move completed. Come on, mortars, do your thing. Ooh. Nice. One incapacitated there. You got the range, fire again. There's two more right on that same spot. That one was that one. We'll fire one more. Gotta be down here. So, troops spotted in one of these houses. I have the little right icon. Closer. Someone's shooting at somebody. G42. There it is. What are they shooting at? They're shooting at our mortar team. Fuck. Get back by the tree. Some of the 
there's infantry in there too. Well, maybe it's just the supporting troops. I don't know how many troops the Germans have here. I'm hoping not many, because we did bloody them pretty badly at uh, Arnhem Bridge. We'll be able to be seen back here on that angle behind those trees or not, but I'm going to try and get the mortars back in quickly. Recon's going to crawl Remove across completed. this road. Hopefully they're not spotted. Completed. Sneak these rifles off over to the left. So we know there's Panzer Shreks here. The 42s on the move. Some, there's also a Panzer Strike there. All right, you're kind of back in cover. Drop the more. Completed. God, that was almost right on top of him. Like fire a little bit. They're gonna get ripped apart by this MG42. Can you get into this house? You'll have such an advantage if you can. Why are you holding fire? Close. All right, so the SS reserves and a Panzer Striker over here. Another, so this group here, if we can wipe these guys out. was right behind the MG42. These guys are suppressed. It's like right on top of them, but they're also sitting in rubble. the edge of the map. Nice. We got one of the Panzer Shrek and one of the MG42. Gunther. We got Gunther. Let's say avoid getting bogged down here. G42 is pulling back. Recon section. One of our guys is panicked. Shrek is almost eliminated, walking wounded and uh, incapacitated. Okay, let's sneak this guy left. I'm assuming this is the ferry where they historically withdrew. The troops. What's this recon do guy doing? He's just running away. Probably better to just drop smoke, right? He's literally running away. Three guys in this house. Fuck that. Hit him with HE. Well, he's separated. Oof, 
pass to the left. I'm going to try and go for the left most objectives on here and then maybe swing around. We'll see. He's going to land in right on top of him. I don't know if the rest of them pulled out or... They definitely seem to be... G42, I think, is setting up in this house. Right, pull back around, give me smoke. Move, completed. Move fast for the riverfront. I'm assuming there's no troops out there. We probably would have seen them by now, right? I think we got someone. Looks like the one of the troops in that reserve section panicked. Alright, we're dropping smoke in this alleyway here. Try and cover our advance left. I think this is the enemy. I think these are where they're at. I don't think they have a lot of other troops. Again, in theory, we're trying to pull a major frost, right? And just make a run for it. Oh, I forgot about this rifle section. Okay. Just make a run for the frickin' Arnhem Bridge. You guys crawl out this way. I'm way too spread out here. But I'm hoping these objectives are unguarded. And maybe we can set up and get the enemy coming at us. Maybe we can be in St. Elizabeth. Area secured. Move completed. Who's shooting at who? G42 is running this way. Move completed. They're probably trying to get a better line of sight with all that smoke out. Area secured. Move completed. Ooh, this is nice. So I like that this building, unlike all the other buildings here, this larger building looks like it has multiple rooms and whatnot, which is kind of cool. You don't really see that a lot, it seems like, in most of these. Nice. My mortar only had a couple rounds left. Dropped one on a sniper, I think. Or oh, recon took a hit. There is a recon anyway, they're trying to get into this building. Right, Handerhawk rifle gets St. Elizabeth. Move completed. Working on making our way through the church. So we flanked the enemy, and then we're coming up there uh, behind him. We're out of mortar rounds. But we got a sniper. 
We have inflicted casualties on them. I think more on them than they on us so far. Just a matter of some patience here. So that building is ours. Make a sprint for this. See if you can knock that Panzer Shrek out before they can shoot at you. Before they can get set up. Get him. Nice. Well, the one carrying the tube anyway is dead, although I guess it just miraculously goes back to the other, to the other guy. Oh, is this MG42 making a play for this building too? Any chance we can just wreck them as they all come in the building? Come on, guys. Got him. MG42 guy. Get him. Got him. Nice. Last of the MG42 guys. By the way, SS Reserve, go ahead and defend yourself Big against season. these guys. Right. There we go. Took him prisoner, and he gave up. Sorry, I wanted to see what that enemy rifle unit was doing as it was going toward our mortars. But uh, <laughs> we did win the battle. Uh, the Germans are routed from the map. The Allies gain control of the area and will advance. The German forces took excessive losses. That's always good. Prevents them from regaining their cohesion quickly. So we have two options, one hour or overnight. We're going to go with one hour. We're going to push on toward the bridge. You can see here four KIA on our troops, two, seven Germans, and also two MIA. If we take a look here, this rifle section was wiped out. It was already at half strength, but it lost its remaining three men. And then our recon section lost one of its three men, killed one walking wounded. Our mortar section did lose a, a wounded man, but it's a walking wounded. And that's all. The Germans, meanwhile, were pretty weak on this map. We wiped out this MG-42 section, 2KA, one captured. They had a reserve section here. Uh, one of their men surrendered. One was incapacitated. Two remaining are okay. Uh, they had a sniper who we incapacitated, a Panzer Shrek team who we wiped out, and the second Panzer Shrek team who we incapacitated one and wounded the other. So only two healthy German soldiers left here. Two military crosses awarded. I just noticed that now. So if we take a look, it looks like Tommy, uh, a Tommy gun, or I guess man, or just a soldier, I guess is what it means. Mons uh, under Mulder's AB rifle section here wanted one uh, distinguished conduct. Wait, no, where's the military cross? Military cross awarded to the AB ad hoc rifle uh, section leader, uh, Posey, it looks like he's a PFC, or one, one stripe, so a private. Um, and then uh, Bosk um, also won one. Okay. Well, there you go. We're going to go with one hour. We'll do the next battle. It's going to be Oosterbeek, so we're going to try and take the landing zone back. Remember, we had a pretty bloody affair here and lost some of the key sections of this map. Uh, but this is the LZ for the first airborne, so pretty important to take or hold. Um, but our infantry, I forgot about that. All of our troops got wiped out. All we have left is a Vickers machine gun and three inch mortar. The Vickers is going to be good on this map, but yikes. What can we do with six points? I mean, we can get two half teams, I guess. That's probably going to be the most valuable use of our points is two half teams of infantry. I guess I'd rather get a full team, but their experience is better, I think. I think that's why it doesn't let you do that. But we'll fight that battle another time. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, part number five of our Close Combat 2, a Bridge Too Far series. Uh, we are getting into it, and uh, we are making some progress. But with that being said, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, as always, I'm out.